Welcome to You Can Do It. I'm your host, Chris, and in this episode, we're going to show you how to repair a two inch galvanized, rusted out riser that's coming out of the ground. We're going to show you an inexpensive way on how to repair that without tearing the whole system apart and putting it in a, in a new panel and new parts. So stay tuned, we'll show you how to do this. So the inspection report came back on this house. They're in escrow, and this panel. Everything's sound, the riser going up, the, the riser wire, the actual meter box, uh, the piping, it's all good until you get all the way down here where the two inch riser meets the soil and it is rusted all the way through. Um, you can actually see the wires in there if there's light showing. So this is a hazard here and you can see how it just ate away at the pipe it wasn't wrapped most of the time nowadays you use PVC coming up but this is an older home done in the 60s so we're going to show you a repair on how to fix this without replacing this conduit right here because you would have to take the panel off the wall and un, you know pull this slide try to slide that out but chances are you're not going to get that wire out anyhow because it is direct burial so it goes down about 18 inches underground here maybe 24 inches depending on how de deep they, they dug it, um, you'd have to dig all the way down to pull that out, and it's not gonna be an easy task. So we're gonna sleeve this right below this coupling right here, and we're gonna pour some concrete in here, and we're gonna show you how to fix this real inexpensive. So you're gonna wanna get a small bucket. I've got this Clorox pool bucket here. It's just an empty bucket that you know I was going to throw away, but I'm actually going to cut this thing apart. I'm going to cut the bottom of it out and I'm going to cut the back to where I can get this kind of positioned in here. I'm going to dig the dirt down around it and I'm going to use this bucket as a form. So after the concrete uh, cures, I'm going to pull this bucket apart from it and it's just going to be a nice shaped uh, poured concrete little slab. So um, I'm going to first dig around the riser here carefully. Um, you don't want to get a shovel and mash down on it real hard. You're going to want to be digging this out by hand because you may encounter the wires right around here and uh, you don't want to hit it with the shovel because these, these wires are live. So you want to be very careful, and if you don't feel comfortable doing the, doing the digging, then then I would recommend not doing it. So, um, but once again, I just have to stress the fact that you need to be very careful when you're digging this. Don't use a pick, and you want to dig it out nice and carefully. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So now you can see a better look at it. So the conduit, it's coming down. It's already starting into the bend right here, which kind of tells us that the wire isn't gonna be too deep over here. Um, normally, if you're down 24 inches, it'll be a straight piece of pipe going down before you actually reach the 90. We're already into the 90. So this wire over here is probably anywhere from 18 inches to maybe 12 inches underground which really isn't good, but it is over here in a flower bed and it goes under a slab right behind me here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this bucket out, cut the bottom out of it. And once again, this is just a, just a cheap little Clorox pool thing. I keep a lot of buckets and different things to put parts in, but we're gonna cut the bottom of this out and fit it around over the pipe. And then we'll use that to pour our concrete. So we got some 10 mil dotty tape, it says 10 mil on it. We're going to wrap the pipe right in here where there's a hole so the, the concrete doesn't ooze down in there just to kind of keep the the wiring from getting fully encased in concrete. So we'll just try to put a couple wraps on there. Now we're gonna take our 
form, which is our bucket, we're gonna wrap it around it and position it and we'll get some wooden stakes, just kind of tack it in the ground, get this thing level, centered over your pipe, and we're ready to pour concrete. We'll show you, we're gonna go ahead and get these stakes installed. You definitely don't want to pound a stake over here in front where the wire is going. Just go on either side of the riser and just maybe one or two screws to hold the uh, bucket nice and steady. Uh, we're only putting not even a sack of concrete in here. Um, it should fill up. It's going to over pour a little bit on the sides and we want that just for extra protection. So here's what you're aiming for. You've got your bucket. It's uh, around the pipe here. We taped up past the, the top of the bucket here. So our tape's right up in here. We don't want to encase this coupling inside the concrete. We could have done a bucket up this high, but since there's a coupling here, we're just going to stay below that. And we've dug down far enough to where the concrete will pour out around the sides of the bucket here but we'll be able to pull this off after it dries and it'll come off because we've cut the back side of the bucket back in here. It'll just pull apart. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up some concrete and fill it up. so it's been a day or so uh, the concrete's nice and dry it's solid so we're gonna go ahead and take these stakes out I pulled the screws out I'll just go ahead and pull these guys out of here and take the form off see how we did might be a little bit tight but I'll get it off here solid there. So let's go ahead and get a close-up on this. So we'll just go ahead and backfill the dirt around that. And this pipe's now fully protected and I'm sure this will pass inspection all right there you go the concrete's nice and cured we got it all backfilled ready to go uh, turned out nice as you can see real inexpensive fix so stay tuned for our next video thank you for watching you can do it